The big news today, of course, was the announcement from TransCanada that it is killing the Energy East pipeline. That project would have been shipping oil from Alberta to New Brunswick and then shipped on overseas. But the death of this pipeline has created all kinds of different reaction across the country. We have environmental groups very happy saying that they should take credit for the death of this pipeline. You have opposition parties saying that the Alberta government and the federal Liberal government just have not done enough to get pipelines built. And then of course you have the federal government as well as the NDP government here in Alberta saying that this is just an economic decision, just a business decision based on the price of oil. Now we have business leaders today, experts today saying that seems to be the case. It's not just the price of oil, it's also the fact that the oil sands won't be growing as quickly as first thought and we don't really need all these pipelines. But today's announcement is a major problem for the NDP government. It's been telling us that its climate leadership plan, which includes of course the carbon tax, will help build that social license needed to get more pipelines built. But now all the eggs really are in the one last pipeline project, at least for Tidewater in Canada, and that's the Trans Mountain Pipeline, the expansion of the Kinder Morgan project. And right now it's in a judicial review, but if that pipeline goes ahead, that's gonna be good news for the Alberta government. But if it doesn't go ahead, that's gonna be potentially fatal for this government. It's put so many eggs into the pipeline basket. And so now all eyes are facing west to see what will happen this fall on the Trans Mountain Pipeline Project. I'm Graham Thompson with the Edmonton Journal.